could slide with me if you feel like five. You're the one I trust. Right, so you've seen some awesome Hyperlapse videos and you want to create your own. In this video, I will show you how my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let's go. Okay, and I've got this clip on my timeline. And if I play it, you see that it's just me slowly walking towards this subject. Because that's one of the first things you want to have, a subject and preferably a high subject like a tall building because that way it will really sell this effect. For this tutorial I've got a smaller subject but it shouldn't matter because I'm going to show you the technique. Now usually when you take a hyperlapse you have your phone or a camera and you, you center it and you have a point in mind which is centering your frame and you take a picture and then you take one step forward take another picture, step forward, take another picture, and you do that for as long as you need. Now, if you've got a 25 frames per second timeline, that means that you need 25 photos for one second of footage. The dirty way, and that's the thing I'm going to teach you right here, is just to film it. So just center your frame, center your subject, walk towards your subject while filming, and then bring it in into DaVinci. And that's when you get something like this. Now, usually hyperlapses are very quickly, and when I play this, this is very, very slow. So we need to speed it up. So let me trim this down on 40 seconds, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to cut this off. Now we've got 40 seconds of clip left, and I'm going to speed it up. So I'm going to hit the right mouse button, and then we're going to change clip speed. And then we're going to change the speed from 100% to a whopping 1200%. And that means that we've got four seconds of footage left. Now, if you play this, it probably won't play as smoothly because it's absolutely hard to do. And it definitely takes a toll on your system. So don't worry, everything will be all right after we edit this. Now it's time to add the effect that will create the hyperlapse. Now, if you don't have the effects library open just yet, just click on here and it will just appear down here. And in the search box, we're going to search for stop and that will pull up the stop motion. And then we're going to grab the stop motion and we're going to drop it on the clip. And it seems as if nothing has happened, but when you select the clip and you go inside your inspector tab, you will see that once you go to effects, because we're using the Finch Resolve 17, we have the option of stop motion and in this case we can change the frame repeat and that means that the higher this number will be the more frames it will skip and when you take a photo usually it's a little bit off and that's what the frame skipping looks like so now we're going to add them in artificially so let's pull this up all the way to eight because I think that will be a great number. And like I said, if you try to play this clip right now, it's, it's almost nearly impossible. You see that there's a lot of skipping. So we're going to render this out and then I'm going to show you how that looks. So I've rendered the clip and right now I've imported it into my timeline and when I play it back, there you go. Now we have an awesome hyperlapse effect and that looks so much better than just speeding up the video that you've taken if you use the video technique to create a hyperlapse so i hope you all like it let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to use this technique on one of your videos and if you want to see more of me please click that playlist over there and if you haven't subscribed already you can do so by clicking that button over there and for this week there's only one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button and until next time doei